what up YouTube, this is JT, and I'm not done with you pussies, you fucking pack tards, man, I'm not done with you, so to me, I mean, I mean, let's just be clear, can you guys just finally be honest, Manny Pacquiao is a, was juiced to the gills against Keith Thurman, and he's been juiced to the gills on and off steroids his whole career. And it's clear. I mean, dude, don't give me that shit. I don't care about he's never caught during a drug test. We're not little kids here. We're all adults. Hopefully, if you're listening to this, you're an adult. And you can make a rational decision as an adult. Okay? Just a couple fights ago, Manny Pacquiao was getting beat all around the ring by fucking Jeff Horn. Okay? Getting bulldozed and bullied. And what did you bitch-ass Pactards come out and say? Oh, Manny Pacquiao, he's washed up. He's old. Oh, he lost. Oh, he really won. He really won against Jeff Horn. You guys always have a fucking excuse for this motherfucker, okay? You always have an excuse. Oh, he really won against Jeff Horn. Okay, he really won against Jeff Horn. When he lost to Tim Bradley, you guys, oh, Manny Pacquiao's over the hill. Oh, but he really won against Tim Bradley. What do you say? When Manny Pacquiao gets knocked the fuck out into fucking, into the solar system by Marquez. Oh, Marquez is on steroids. Oh, he had acne on his back. And then you, you say Pactars. Oh, Errol Spence, he has ingrown nipples. Oh, he has, he's on steroids. He has gastro or uh, gynecomastia. Oh, you guys come with all this shit about black fighters. Oh, oh, they're on all these steroids and oh, he's juiced to the gills like you convicted crackheads like to say. And then it's, but everything with this guy, he gets a complete pass for when he's clearly, clearly on steroids. I mean, how the hell are you getting beat around the ring by Jeff Horn? You're getting beat and bulldozed and bullied around by Jeff Horn. But then you get in a ring with Keith Thurman, you're stronger, faster, more hand speed, more youthful, more jovial. I mean, this guy, he was making Keith Thurman look like a like he's fucking slow. I mean, Keith Thurman looked like at least three times slower than this motherfucker, man. At least. At least three times slower. And I'm just looking at it, I'm like, dude. Keith Thurman looks so much slower than a fucking 40-year-old guy, man. I mean, this is clear, dude. This is clear, man. Eight divisions? I mean, dude, what other person in boxing? I mean, unless this this guy is like the LeBron James of boxing. I mean, this guy is like the greatest fighter ever, man. I mean... He must be the greatest fighter we've ever seen. If, if he could go through eight divisions from fucking flyweight all the way up to knocking out Margarito and beating the shit out of Margarito and knocking out Cotto and now he's beating the shit out of Keith Thurman out of nowhere after just some fight, two, three fights ago, he's looking very pedestrian versus Jesse Vargas and Jeff Horn. How was that, man? Is this... I mean, is this guy not human or what? Because this story don't add up to me, and I think it's clear. It's clear. It does not add up. It does not add up. Act like an adult, dude. Where the fuck have we seen something like this, dude? In any sport, dude. Come on, dude. This shit don't even make sense. That's like, okay, that's like Conor McGregor in UFC... That's like Conor McGregor going through all these weight classes and then going up to fucking <coughs> light heavyweight and not only beating John Jones, but beating the shit out of him and stopping John Jones, dude. Come on, bro. Like, dude. Dude, it's, it's literally impossible to do this shit without some type of help. And by help, I mean steroids. Clearly, this motherfucker's on steroids, dude. And you bitches give him a pass. You give him a pass because you're a bitch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Sean Newton, Thunderdome. All you motherfuckers are bitches, dude. 
you give a guy a pass just because you're in love with the, your man defenders. You love defending men online, and you, you, you're attracted to Manny Pacquiao. So you, you sit here and give excuses and make up stories to defend him. I mean, come on, dude. Like, dude, this shit don't even make sense, dude. How the fuck is this guy, a 40-year-old man who's been through all these wars, dude, been knocked out ice cold and is coming back, he's beating the living shit out of Keith Thurman, dude. I mean, standing toe to toe with them as a forty year old. I mean, dude, if you put any other, if you put Floyd Mayweather in the ring with Keith Thurman right now, would he win? Yes, probably. But I mean, dude, he's gonna use his boxing ability. He's gonna try to outsmart the guy. You know, he's gonna try to outslick the guy. He's just a slip, slickery slip. He's a slick, slippery boxer. Manny Pacquiao, a forty year old man who's been knocked out. And Mayweather has never been knocked out or taken much punishment. Manny Pacquiao has been in hella wars. He's taken hella punishment. He's been knocked out ice cold. And what did he do? He got in a ring. He went toe-to-toe with Keith Thurman. It looked like Keith Thurman got hit by a fucking, been hit by sledgehammers in the ring. Look at the face. Look at the state of his face after the fight. I mean, come on, bro. That don't add up, dude. I don't care what. You say, I don't care what anyone says about it. That motherfucker was on steroids during that fight. Clearly, clearly, clearly. And if you don't, and if you don't want to believe it, you're a bitch, dude. You know, straight up. I don't know, man. I think it's clear. Tell me what you guys think. This JT, I'm out.